What's up, Legacy Crew? We are back again for another video. And this time we're talking about apologies. Do you struggle to apologize to your friends, your significant other, or your spouse? We're gonna learn more about that today. We're actually joined by our friends, Eddie and Brenda, who happen to be relationship coaches. And they're gonna help us sort through, sort through some things in our relationship, and hopefully they help you sort through some of yours. But first, Let's talk about who they are. So they are both co-founders of Bridgework Counseling here in Orlando, Florida. They've been married for 32 years. Yes. Let's go ahead and give them a whoop whoop <laughs> and celebrate 32 yes. years of marriage. My gosh. And you know, they have a lot of skin in the game and they have an awesome story to tell mm -hmm. of, of just successes and some opportunities to change. But we're gonna go ahead and get into these apology languages and just like the love languages, there are five. And the five are genuinely repent, accept responsibility, express regret, make restitution, and request forgiveness. So my, my top language, I would say, is um, accept responsibility. So um, honestly, it was not until meeting Eddie and Brenda, and just to, just to clarify, these, um, these uh, apology languages actually come from Dr. Gary Chapman, mm -hmm. but it was at an event um, that you know we have every month yeah. with you guys um, that Eddie talked about that, the apology languages, and um, so you know went home and I was like, man, that you know that resonated with me, and it means a lot when. Devin especially, um, admits when he's wrong and says I'm Me? sorry. <laughs> it means so much like when you just stop and you know what, I was wrong about that and I'm sorry. Um, so I don't know, it's just, there's just, yeah, we're all wired differently and that that's something that I've just learned about myself that like that really means a lot. And in our marriage, and we'll be married for three years this May, and and I learned that early on, but I didn't know that there was there was context to it. I didn't know that there was an apology language. Um, so that really helps us to transition um, in our own relationship rather quickly. Um, and I think that you'll learn a lot from this, especially the guys. If you can speak your 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 girlfriends or your spouses. Uh, apology language the quickest, the sooner you can get to other things. <laughs> <laughs> I like that part too. <laughs> other yeah. So, um, I, we're gonna get it. So, my apology language is genuinely repent. And for me, it's not so much of how many words you use and how you eloquently apologize, it's just more about showing that you are genuinely sorry. Like, I don't have time to constantly hear, I'm sorry, what are you going to do to not do it again? And that's what means uh, the most to me. And we recently had that that conversation as well. So I wanna hear from you guys. What what would you say your apologies are? Like? Well, my apology is the same, but the language is the same as yours. Um, you know, as long as she's genuine with me or whoever it is that's apologizing to me, okay, cool, let's, let's, let's get on with it. Mm -hmm. uh, hers is different. I have two, and and it's a possibility that you can have more than one. Yes. But yes. I did get two, and when I scored those two scored evenly, um, it's expressing regret and genuinely um, repent. So show me, like you said, mm -hmm. show me that you're sorry. Now you stepped on my foot, you said you're sorry. I'm okay with that. <laughs> but you did something else, you gotta show me. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, it, it depends. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Show me or... I need some restitution. <laughs> ah, I, need some <laughs> I need you to drop some yeah, dollars. Right. I saw this new Hermes bag. That <laughs> <I'm> gonna, <you laughs> know. Yeah. If I had a dime for every time I apologize, you know. It went to I the store. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, guys, um, we're gonna put down in the description below the test so that you can take it. And if you you, you may have heard something that resonated with you, um, and you want to better your relationship, or you know, Chad's for the for the 
for the most part, not for the most part, but she would tell me um, often that I don't apologize. And I can say that that is true um, because based on my, my home of origin um, situation and um, based on how I express apologies, like I didn't find it necessary to say I'm sorry, but to show it. Um, so there were times where I'm just finding different things and just navigating our relationship to figure out, well, when is she gonna stop being mad at me? Mm -hmm. And that may be some of you guys, but I think that if you learn your significant other's apology language, you can transition uh, quicker. So we just we just had something come up and you know, having a conversation and um, so what so Eddie like what would you say when maybe Devin says or does something that hurt me and and I'm like okay well aren't you going to are you going to apologize about it or are you going to say I'm sorry <laughs> like how would you um, or what would you say when like if that doesn't happen and and you. Have asked the question, yeah. are you going to apologize? Yeah. yeah. Or right. when are you going yeah. to apologize? Mm -hmm. um, I think, this is my personal belief, that when someone has a hard time apologizing, um, it's a matter of pride, and it's a matter of the ego, mm -hmm. it's a matter of the heart. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we can, we can talk about this thing for a while. Mm -hmm. um, but one of the things that we have to realize is that uh, when you feel how you feel, mm -hmm. uh, there's no way to discredit that. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times when, and I'm talking to the men now. Fellas, <laughs> <Now> listen. <laughs> and, 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 and I, this is free, by the way. <laughs> so we're fixers by nature, right? Yes. When she doesn't feel that we've got the solution and we work the problem or part of the problem, mm -hmm. right? We don't want to acknowledge that, mm. especially when we can't fix it. Yeah. Know? So then it's an ego thing. Mm -hmm. You know, then then we don't want to even engage in that conversation of apology because it's an ego thing. Mm -hmm. But when we put ourselves, when we learn to put ourselves in their shoes and listen, mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a pause right here. Most of us listen mm -hmm. to have a comeback. Yeah. Most of us listen. To answer. Mm -hmm. We're all good at that. Yes. <laughs> we we all at some point <laughs> we become one of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But when we learn to listen to understand, mm -hmm. then there, there's something that happens with the ego that yeah. needs to take a back seat and say, wait a minute, I was thinking about this the whole, you know, entirely the wrong way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I have to listen, I have to understand, and then I have to own. I have to be responsible, take responsibility, I have to own. It sounds familiar because those are the apology languages. And, I, and I'll also say this too, like, it's so crazy. Before I got, you know, before we got married, like, I've never met a person that, like, seeks an apology. Oh, you she know does now. I mean? Like, I've never oh. been, that, <laughs> I've never been that kind of person where it's like, you know, they wrong me, whatever, you know, I move on. But it's like, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's like, you saying I'm sorry means so much to me. And when you don't get that, you actually, you actually go and you seek for it and you ask for it. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, and it's and, and this is the only reason that she started like, so you don't feel like you need to apologize. <laughs> and because in my mind, I'm like, I'm already thinking about how am I going to make this right. You know, in my mind, I'm sorry, but she just wants the verbal communication that I'm sorry. And I learned that earlier on in our relationship when I would just apologize and Chad would all of a sudden become the happiest person in the world. And I thought that this was some sort of game or manipulation as to like, okay, so all I need to say is two words and you're cool. We can work on baby number two. Is that, is that what I'm understanding? <laughs> Newlywed. <laughs> Newlywed. <laughs> so you mean to tell me I don't have to wash the dishes, I don't have to, you know, buy you things, all you want to hear is I'm sorry. And she told me, yeah. And that changed like our relationship. Um, 
Now, I'm not the best at always doing it because I do have the ego and the pride that comes up. Um, but, you know, I'm still a work in progress. Pray for me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and pray for her, too. Me too. She, yeah. I, I can't think of nothing to put on a girl's last about. Yeah. <laughs> no. But what would you guys say um, that you do uh, to help you know, couples navigate this process of apologizing and, and getting to a place to where they will readily apologize when they're in a situation. I think it's it, it's what's working in our events. I mean, you know, we do that that uh, event for couples every month here mm -hmm. in the greater Orlando area. It's called Uncovered in Marriage. And the greatest takeaway there is creating conversation. Mm -hmm. My favorite part of that event is at the very end, the 15 minutes of reflection mm -hmm. where everybody takes a corner, some people go outside and you, you take 15 minutes to have a conversation yeah. about what you just heard, what you learned, and how you can apply it to your scenario. It's not always... Um, the, uh, the worst case scenario for you as a couple, mm -hmm. um, but I'm sure that there, are, there, that there are things that, and areas that you can address within the scheme of what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing is conversation. We can change the world. Mm -hmm. We can change our world by just having a conversation. Mm -hmm. And in order to have an effective conversation and be great communicators, yeah. Yeah. You have to understand each other. You mm -hmm. have to, you should know each other. Mm -hmm. So for us, sometimes it's just the look. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes I'm, I'm talking to her and I'm just looking at her. Mm -hmm. Because we've grown and we've gotten to the point where we know each other. Mm -hmm. Because we're, we've been very effective in asking questions. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Mm -hmm. When you first engage a person, what do you say to them? Mm -hmm. How do you engage them? How are you? You gotta say questions. Yeah. Right. right. So why don't why can't we ask questions and not condescend, condescending questions or questions that are that are full of sarcasm? But why can't we start a conversation with each other? Hey, so what do you think of this? Mm -hmm. Or hey, I heard this. Or hey, I, I felt this way. Mm -hmm. Conversation is spark for the most part when you, when you engage somebody in a question or my question. Yeah. Mm. So, um, you know, coming back full circle, it's important for us to be intentional about the areas that are not working mm. for us. Yeah. And most of the time it has to do with the fact that we misunderstand mm. each other mm. and how uh, we speak to each other. Mm -hmm. And we've always heard, it's not what you say. It's how you say it. Yeah. There is a trick to that. Mm -hmm. But we've, we've used that as a, as a crutch. Sure. Not to, to not really discuss the deep things and, the, and, and learn new things about communication styles and things like that. Mm -hmm. So um, this been, has been, uh, this topic has been very, very uh, useful and helpful especially for older for couples. Mm -hmm. um, we, we know a couple who said, man, oh my God, I didn't know that you can learn how to apologize to, to, <laughs> to my wife or to, to, to my husband. Yeah. And, and it just makes things move on so easily. Like before we used mm -hmm. to just kind of fight because I wanted, I want to hear this and he wanted to hear this or he didn't want to hear it. And, 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 it's, and it's, it's about, okay, how do you take apologies? Yeah. What do you want to hear? Mm. What do you want to see? Right, right. Because a lot of us want to hear. Mm. A lot of us want to see. Yeah. Like her. Mm. She's like, don't tell me nothing. Right. Show me. Right. Yeah. You know, don't do this. Yeah. You know, show mm. me. Yeah. So when you understand that, you know, I use if, if I'm a real big trouble guy, <laughs> <laughs> I use all five. <laughs> Well, I use all five because I know I'll be in the doghouse. Because <laughs> if I messed up. So you, you, you gotta become a masterful person uh, at each other and for each other. Yeah. And, and this is a great tool. This is a great tool to get over conflict, to get over messing up. We all want to. Yeah. Yes. And uh, it's, it's, it's an amazing thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what would you say to the couple? 
that and and again I, we're using couple because we're speaking in the, in the context of relationships but apology languages work across yes. the board whether it's a work relationship or friendship a family mm -hmm. um but you know we're, we're speaking in terms of relationships what would you say to the couple who isn't ready for the apology and wants to stay in a place of hurt or offense or anger wow one of the greatest things that we miss in life is the power of forgiveness. Mm. We don't forgive necessarily all the time, and that was kind of complicated. But we don't forgive for the sake of the other person. Sure. We should forgive for the sake of us, mm -hmm. and because it's the right thing to do. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. When we forgive and we take the posture of forgiveness, uh, something's lifted from us, mm -hmm. where um, it, it's freedom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I always said, and you, you mentioned it earlier, there has to be some kind of grace within a relationship mm -hmm. um, that carries you to the point of forgiveness. Um, you have to remember who you're dealing with and what that person means to you. Yeah. And the ramifications of not having forgiveness or not being able to forgive. Mm -hmm. So, so I, I, I think if we can sum this all up, um, when we do have the courage to apologize, mm -hmm. men, <laughs> when we do have the courage to apologize, uh, we should know how to. Mm -hmm. and, and not just try to get over that hump, mm -hmm. but also um, package it with forgiveness. Yeah. Because that's important. That's very important. And we can get into that there's a whole different, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you know, there's a whole different uh, talk and conversation sure. about that. But yeah. that's very important. Wow. Now you're going to have to make up the five forgiveness languages. <laughs> I think you're on this side. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. But you know what? Thank you guys so much. Yeah. This has been great. I hope yeah. you guys have learned something. And be sure, um, I'm going to leave their information on how you can get in contact with them down below in the description. Um, they do virtual coaching. So if you don't happen to be in the greater Orlando area, you can jump on the Skype or Google Hangout and have the conversation. Learn. Um, how to apologize and one of the biggest takeaways that I took from this is you know when apologizing be sure to listen understand and then own so that you can just transition back into having a thriving relationship you don't have to hold a grudge um, if you don't don't need to when someone can speak your language yeah all right we are done, done. <laughs> It's Thanks so much, <laughs> yeah. and um, don't forget, if you have not subscribed, um, subscribe to our channel. Yes. Um, hit the not notification bell so you will get notified because we upload videos three times a week. Yes, we do. Yeah, so, yeah, thanks it, so much again, guys. Thanks. And if you guys want to see more yes. of Eddie and Brenda, <laughs> go ahead and leave a comment down below. Uh, we're going to try to get them to start their own YouTube channel, you know. <laughs> <laughs> But thanks so much, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.